using Facebook for your business. You're kind of doing it for personal reasons, which, you know, lots of people do. Most people do. That's what Facebook's for, right? It's personal posts, personal... Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about the social prospecting formula, the reverse social prospecting formula or, or process. I, well, maybe I like formula better but anyways right now we're going to talk about that and we're going to get to that in just a second but first this. So the real question is this, what are the strategies, techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. That's right, as I get ready to prepare a webinar that's going to explain exactly how you can use the reverse prospecting formula, I actually like that word better, uh, and the reverse, so so reverse social prospecting process or formula. I'm going to kind of go through it here. It'll help me, it'll help you to clarify it some more. So before I do that though, I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this, you're going to want to go check out the video and the blog post at cis487.jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen and showing you a lot more of this that you can get in the audio. All right, so let's get right to it. Let me share my screen and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so first of all, this is a post I posted on Facebook not too long ago. <clears throat> basically, I was saying reverse social prospecting, what is it, right? I was saying basically, I'm asking these questions and telling you that, you know, it's, um, it's instead of spending hours on the news feed, you'll spend 30 minutes a day doing dot, 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 instead of prospecting and waiting for engagement you do this instead of engaging on the news feed you do this instead of visiting your friends profiles you do this instead of posting and answering questions in groups you do this all right so in this post i was kind of teasing kind of getting people to you know uh, look at the actual question and maybe make them think as to what reverse social prospecting could possibly mean and so we're going to kind of go through that right now we're going to kind of explain what we're talking about so let's say, let's start with the first one right instead of spending hours on the news feed you spend 30 minutes a day only on okay so what am i talking about here what am i talking about so as i go through the news feed well this is not the news feed this is my own page so if i just go to the news feed you know when you go to the news feed you basically see whatever Facebook wants you to see now in some cases especially if you've been building for like you know five ten years the news feed might actually be okay but the problem with the news feed is that it's going to be what Facebook wants you to see it's also going to be based on what you're typically engaging on right so say you're you know not necessarily doing what you should be you're not really using Facebook for your business you're kind of doing it for personal reasons which you know lots of people do most people do that's what Facebook's for right it's personal posts personal you know vacation uh, family pictures and things like that so if you're doing that if you're engaging on those kinds of posts in your feed well you're going to see more of those kinds of posts right and the thing that you have to remember too is that Facebook will show your posts to the people that you're most likely that are most likely to engage on your stuff so it's either going to choose who sees your posts based on your engagement with them or based on you know some some magical algorithm thing where it looks at your words it looks at what kind of post it is and who most likely engages on those kinds of posts and whatever right that's kind of what Facebook will do it'll it'll try to guess who's most likely to engage on your posts whenever you post that's why most people get no engagement almost none right I mean if I look at these these posts that are in my feed are mostly are most likely going to get quite a bit of comments because Facebook is showing it to people because people are engaging right 
And the, this, you know, I mean, some are fantastical things, right? <clears throat> They're just like, some are just from your friends, right? Some are uh, in, of interest to, to lots of people. Some of them are obviously ads and things like that. But that's the secret. The secret is that whatever is going on in the feed is not necessarily what you should be engaging on, right? When I say, instead of spending hours on the news feed, you spend 30 minutes a day on this, right? This is part of the reverse social because it's reverse because it's not what Facebook expects. It's not what Facebook wants, but you're still, you know, you're not angering the Facebook gods by doing something different. And what it is that you're doing different is basically you're choosing whose post you're going to be engaging on not based on the news feed but based on whatever you choose and and you know we can get into that a little bit more as to how you find out whose post you should be engaging on but I mean it's not the feed the feed is not where you want to be spending your time on you can see it as you can see through my feed here there's a ton of stuff that could be complete distractions it could be just you know it's not it, some of it is, is okay, but some of it is like way out there, things that have nothing to do with anything that are really, you know, part of my business, right? There's nothing in there that has to do with my business or not, not that's not true, not nothing, but there's a lot of stuff in there that has nothing to do with my business, right? So you'd be wasting and you're the same, you're the same, you've got things that you like that aren't necessarily related to your business, although some will say that you should be engaging on posts that are related to, you know, what you like, which is true as well. But anyways, that's beside the point. What I'm trying to say here is that instead of spending hours on the news feed, which mm, I don't know about you, but lots of people do that, and I certainly was doing it myself, is spending a lot of hours in the feed, you know, either on my phone or on the computer, just going through the feed and just commenting on things, right? Comment, comment, like, like, comment, comment. Doing it like, I don't know, 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there, half an hour there, an hour there. Like, it seemed like the whole day I was on there, right? That's kind of what that felt like. And you should not be doing that. We're going to be talking about uh, how and uh, near, if you keep, if you stay on here, you're going to see what I mean by this. What are we going to do instead of spending our time on the feed? What are we going to engage on? All right, so... The second thing that I said was, instead of posting and waiting for engagement, you do this. Now, this is the thing, right? I go to, I go, if I go to my page, uh, we let it load. You see, I posted this, I got like 18 comments on here. I posted this, I got 18 comments here. Posted this, uh, no com just a few com a few likes, same thing here. Another one here, this is a... A reels, I'm not sure how you can, there doesn't seem to be any comments, but this is a post here, got six comments. So, you know, you're posting things, 40 comments here, 14 comments here. Uh, you're posting things and you're looking for people to engage on your post, right? That's why we post. That's why we do things. You're building a business online. You're going to be posting stuff about your business. You're going to be posting other things like, like, see, like this one, I got 23 comments, 18 comments on this one, which is, you know, a silly little whatever. So, you know, you post things that have to do with you, with your business, and there's all these rules, well, not rules, but suggestions or best practices in terms of what you should be posting, how you should be posting, you know, what kind of comments and those kinds of things, right? Um, what kind of posts? I mean, you know, there's value posts, there's personal posts, there's business posts, there's promotion posts, there's all these different kinds of posts, right? <clears throat> and what should you be doing, right, when you're, when you're on, on the feed? The thing is that, you, like most people, because this is what's taught. This is what's taught, right? What is taught is that you should just post regularly and eventually things will start to grow, right? And that's true to some extent. But what people forget to clarify is that you have to do all sorts of other things too for that to happen. Like... Uh, you've got to be engaging in other people's posts. You've got to be active in groups. You've got to be um, commenting on other uh, the, the commenting on other people's stuff. You've got to be sending friend requests. You've got to be sending follows. You've got to be you're sending private messages. You've got to be all these things. And eventually, your posts will start to grow. Now, you can focus on just one of those things, and that's one of the things I'm going to be covering here. But 
but there's all sorts of different things you could be doing, right? You can focus on one of those things instead of doing everything, which is what we kind of get confused. We start to do everything. It becomes a, a, it becomes overwhelming because there's so much to do, right? But anyways, that's what we're going to talk about. The next one is instead of engaging on the feed, you do this, right? So when I was telling you, and you're going to the news feed, right? <coughs> you're going to the news feed and you're spending some time on the feed, you're engaging on the post in the feed, right? There's some positive to that. There's some not so positive to it as well, right? So you're, if you're engaging on the, on the feed, what will happen is Facebook's going to notice what kinds of posts you're engaging on. If you're just engaging on whatever Facebook is showing you, well, you're just confirming to Facebook that that's what you will engage on, right? The stuff you see in your feed, right? So that's the thing. You want to break that, that, what's the word? You want to break that, that proof. You want to break that thing, right? You, you want to tell Facebook that you're not just going to engage on the stuff that's in the feed. Now, uh, of course, if you do the things that I teach, the things that show up in your feed is going to change, right? It's going to change based on what you actually do. It's kind of like the reverse of, you know, of uh, uh, if you do what Facebook wants, it'll show you more of what it wants to show you. If you do what you want, Facebook will show you more of what you want, right? If you change your process. Now, how, how does that work? How do you change that? How do you, what do you do instead of engaging on a news feed, right? Is, is it groups? Is it, is it going to Facebook? your friends you know uh, birthdays is it going to your to just your friend list to the followers of your fans or your or the followers of your um, influencers that you follow right there's all sorts of different strategies but that's not what I'm talking about here I'm going to show you in a minute what I'm actually talking about right so part of it is you know just following a certain process right and that process there's like millions of, well, maybe not millions, but a ton of different processes that you could probably be following that would be just as good as what I do. But I'm going to show you one process, the process I follow, that you can follow as well. And that's the reverse social process. We're going to talk about that. We're going to get to exactly what that is in a second, but let's keep going here. It's instead of visiting your friend's profiles, you do this, right? You could, you could, whoops. I mean, you could go to your friends, right? And then Facebook shows you your list of friends. Well, you got friends requests. You got, I, don't, I thought there was a friend feed, but I guess not. So you can go to your, fr your friends, right? I can go to each of these friends, right? And look at what they posted recently. Um, it kind of shows me how many mutual friends. That's pretty much all it does. I, I actually haven't been to the friends list in a long, long time because, uh, because it's not really it doesn't really give any kind of you know real benefit um, you could do that lots of people some people teach to do that to go to your you know to, to 10 or 20 of your friends I'm not even sure how you could organize that but there's probably ways to do it right there's even tools that let you um, know which friends you visited and stuff like that but for me it's uh, it's more about uh, well this other thing that I'm gonna show you what I do right so instead of visiting your friend instead of visiting your friends profiles right you do this we're gonna tell you what that is in just a second okay just almost almost there so instead of posting and answering questions in groups you do this because that's another thing that lots of leaders teach which is actually pretty good because the important thing about building your brand online is to become a, an expert right become the person that people um, know that you know what you're talking about so doing that in groups certainly does help right and the thing is that if we're it seems like I'm okay so if we go back to Facebook here and I just go to the group feed which is this this link here is the group feed right It's basically the post in groups that I'm in that Facebook thinks I might engage on and this is the group feed which is not what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the group is I'm talking about you go to you know a group that work about life balance here business from home let's let's go to this business from home group right if I go to this group this is the group itself right I'm right in the group right so now I can scroll through the group I can comment on some of this right uh, you see how there's 450 comments on this post right 
Uh, um, uh, yeah, as if Google's going to pay that. Anyways, whatever. So there's all these, this is obviously, you know, lots of these groups are spam groups. So I'm not talking about the spam groups, right? Although you could build something in there, but there's so many people in there. We're probably, I'm talking about more. Let's go back and let kind of show you some more. Uh, let's say if I go to maybe Clickbank, that would be a good, maybe grow your business. Or even just like things like, you know, Fiona and Tia, that's something that uh, is a, a group here that had to do with a hurricane that happened last year. Or Unreal Engine, or, you know, Wealth in, I don't know what that is, Programming Jokes, No X-Trade. I, I mean, it's so many re funny groups, right? Uh, but the point is that if you, like, here, let's let's say that you're a UI developer and you, you can help people in here. You go here and they post questions you can answer the questions you become somebody who they kind of see oh that I see that person in there answering questions all the time you become kind of like you know an expert somebody who they know the thing with that is that it does take a lot of time now when I'm saying spend only 30 minutes a day in Facebook I mean imagine if you spent you could spend literally hours in groups right going through the groups looking at the posts looking at the questions trying to answer some of them that you can it's kind of the same as like you know, on other social platforms like uh, like those uh, those uh, programmer help groups and things, if you're into that, right? There's so many, like, I forget what they're called, but there's a bunch of different websites that basically people post questions and people answer, and based on your based on how many answers you give and that stuff, you get a rating and whatever. Anyways, that's beside the point. So in Facebook, we're not going to be posting and answering questions in groups. You could do that, but that's not what we're going to be talking about. All right, so what am I talking about? You're going to be like, what is this? What is social, the reverse social prospecting process? What is it? What is that? And or and again, like I said, I really like this reverse social prospecting formula. Formula. Do I, is that better? Is the formula better than the process? I think the formula might be better. It's kind of kind of sounds, you know, sexier, right? Doesn't it? I don't know. Anyways, I'll have to ask. I'll have to post in my in my in Facebook and ask people what they think, whether they like formula or process better. Um, all right. So actually, uh, you know what? Let's do that right now. Look, look at that. I'm just gonna go right to Facebook. I'm gonna post right now. I'm just gonna post process or formula. Which do you like? Whoops, which do you like best? The reverse social, well, actually I have it here, right? Hold on, in my buffer. For the, so this will be the reverse social prospecting process or reverse for not. Not with a NAR. Is that not like, don't I have, yes, I still can use one of these. So let's go in here. Let's see what I can use. What would be a question? I don't know. Just put that. Process or formula? Which would you like best? The reverse social prospecting process or the reverse the reverse social prospecting process or the reverse social prospecting formula? There. Yeah, let's just post that. I don't know, you know, obviously we're not going to get any kind of response probably during this, but if we do, we'll, uh, we'll maybe go back and see what that is. But let's talk about what it is. What is that? What am I talking about, right? What I'm talking about is using a list of users to choose who you're going to be engaging on. So say you have, say you, you have a list of a thousand users, right? You have a, well, well, yeah, let's say there's a thousand people that you, maybe they're your friends, a thousand friends, a thousand followers, a thousand, you know, fans of, of one of your influencers, of, you know, a thousand fans of Eric Orr, a thousand fans of Tony Robbins, a thousand fans of uh, Brian Finale, right? A thousand fans of one of your, so this is a list of a thousand people. You get a list of a thousand people. So you want to be using that list to choose who you're engaging on. So I'm Day one, you're going to go to 20 of those people's profiles, directly to their profile. You're just going to check what's going on in their profile. You're going to engage on some of their posts. 
and that's it then 20 of those it'll take you around the 30 minute mark to just go to those 20 profiles engage on one post maybe maybe two I mean I do one post I do one post I can comment on and three posts I engage on and that's it 20 that's it that's it that's half an hour your day's done on Facebook feed at least on Facebook engagement right you still probably should be posting a thing every couple days you know a couple times a week maybe even every, once a day it's really up to you not soup not a huge amount but just posting right so you want to be taking control of whose posts you engage on from that list so where do you get that list right I mean yeah you could you could go to your list of friends you could go to your list of your followers I mean if I go I don't know can I see my followers I don't know if you can see your followers I think you can if I go to friends here and I just change that to followers followers does that yes see look my followers oh what the hell is this oh oh that's interesting some person set up a profile called followers oh that's very smart I guess that's not our followers that's not our followers that's some account <laughs> I thought there might have been a followers link I think there might be a somehow somewhere right but anyways I'm not sure so you can come up with a list now the obviously the better way is to have some some software give you a list and that's kind of what I use which uh, software called active groups so I'm just going to show you what that looks like <coughs> so with active group users you get the list of users it it gives you a list of users and you start using that list if I just go to view data here uh, it'll load up and it'll show you but basically you start with this list of people that um the well the, the tool actually gets you the list of the most active users in groups that's why it's called active group users um and then you use that list every day to engage on posts you're, you're basically doing the same thing right you're doing the same thing that that you would normally do right instead of spending hours on news feed you just spend 30 minutes a day on the people that the tool tells you to go check so if I look at the list here I got a list of all these people and if I sort them by visited or sort them by who's the most who posts the most comments or that kind of stuff then I can get a, the list for today I can say you know what I'm going to go visit these 20 people you see right here this these numbers here are the number of this this first column that's here visits 2021 20, 2021 20, that's how many people I visited that day so the 19th the 18th the 17th right so that you know, I use that to kind of tell me okay I'm, I've visited enough people today so that's kind of what that is so instead of going to the feed right instead of spending hours on the feed you just spend 30 minutes a day clicking on each of these all you do is I just click on you know Eli here and then it shows me a summary of when I last visited his his uh, last visit was six days ago 49 posts how many posts all that stuff anyways that's not really critical to understand right now but the point is that I choose to visit Eli's profile by just clicking his name here and that takes me to his profile directly and I can come in here and I can engage on one of his posts and I'll just uh, love this one I can say perfect he said right I'm just going to comment on this obviously sometimes I'll uh, well most times I'll kind of read a little bit more but right now I'm just going to kind of show you I just engage on these posts and I'm going to <coughs> then I then that's it I just did this I looked at a few posts I saw one that I liked that I wanted to comment on I comment on it and then I close the tab and that's that's it then I go in here and I say I comment on one post reacted to three posts and I save the update so now it says 22 instead of 21 right because I visited one more person but that's that's all you do just click on these one after the other to engage on their posts and the thing about it is it's not about you know sure you could do something similar but the the secret is how do you know how, if you visited them long enough long a long enough time ago to go back to them and that's what the tool gives you too it tells you right here 48 8 14 12 50 35 19 that's the number of times I visited their profile so I know that Sean here if I send him a message he's gonna he's gonna yeah, have a clue who I am because he's seen me and commenting on his posts he's 
you know, after a certain time, he's going to come and check my profile. So he's got a clue. And also, the other thing that happens is Facebook will actually start to show him my stuff. So that's the reverse of going to the newsfeed. You control whose post you engage on. All right, so instead of posting and waiting for engagement, you control your content. You control your your engagement, which post you engage on. You don't let Facebook tell you. You do it. You control it with the list, right? I can come up here and I can say, show me the list. I want to see, uh, without a note, because the notes are, and I want to see at least somebody who I haven't visited in like 20 days, right? So this will give me the list of the people that I have not visited in at least 20 days or the ones I have not visited at all. See 447 days ago, 26 days ago here. Some of these are not yet. I have not visited them yet. 81 days ago. <laughs> that kind of tells me that these people that I haven't visited in a long time, I you know maybe I should go visit their profile. So I can use the tool to give me the list of, and what I do is I do the six days here, right? With the six days, that means that I'm not going to go visit the same person. I don't, you know, imagine you had your friends list and you used your friend list to decide whose post you go on. How, how would you, could you possibly remember that this friend, you visited them, you know, three days ago or five days or 20 days ago, whatever it is, you, I mean, sure, you could remember some of them, but you wouldn't remember all of them, especially if you're trying to build a business. You're not going to be focusing on just like five people, right, or 20 people. You're going to be focusing on hundreds of people. You're trying to figure, you're trying to make sure that you're always engaging new people all the time, uh, you know, content, uh, not content, but engagement on their content regularly so that they see you, so they start to know, like, and trust you. That's what the process is all about. That's the formula, right? The formula of doing this. Instead of engaging on your news feed, you engage on the posts by clicking their names in your list that you have here, right? You just click that name click the name you go to their profile and engage on their oh, oh oh my god sorry about that you go to their profile and engage on their post right instead of you letting the facebook tell you who to go instead of visiting your friends profile again instead of using your friend list you use this list right here now there's another thing under view i can go to all contacts because what this tool does what this tool does, if I click on the little icon up here, that's in, a, in my, it's an extension, so it installs inside of your browser, inside of Chrome, it goes in Edge, there's a couple of different browsers you can install it on. But basically, you give it a list of groups. You see right here, these are all groups in Facebook that I told it, I want you to go to these groups and I want you to go check who's actually posting, and who's actually commenting those in those groups. So in other words, the people that are, like I mean, some of these groups could have, you know, 10,000 members who in those 10,000 are actually active are actually posting content who can you actually go and who would notice you if you did stuff right if they're not posting and engaging they're not going to notice if you do anything so who is it that would notice if you were actually engaging on their stuff that's the reverse of what most people do which is just posting groups and comment on things and whatever this will give you the list of the people that are actually posting, actually commenting, gives you the list. The list comes down here. And then every time you run it, it goes and finds it in the scrapes. But then if you go to the all contacts, so the scrapes are the process of finding the list right now, right? Like if I, if I was to go in the groups right now, I would see who posted in the last you know, day, right? Those are the people that are active in the last day. But I mean, every single day there's new people, right? So this, that's a scrape. The scrape tells you right then and there who is active, who's posting, who's commenting on that day, right? So over time, you get these lists every single day. The lists are different, right? Because it's different people, different posts, different comments. But over time, if you add them all up, you get this list of all these comments. Like me, I've got like 27,000 people in this list. That's because I've been using a tool for a long time. As soon as you start using a tool, you're going to get your own list. And right now, I can sort by the visits. So who did I visit the most in all this time? You're going to see right now, it's going to show me the list of who's the most, who did I visit the most? Because visiting basically means clicking that profile and going to their 
to their home page or their profile. You're not going to the feed. You're going to their home page and you're looking at their posts. See, 89, 86, 82, 77, 70. Like this is how many times I visited these people, right? And that's that's what's important to, to build up. You build up their their knowledge of you. That's what you want. You want people to start to notice you, to know what you're about. Sure, you post things about your family and all those things, but you're building a business. You're building a business online. You need people to see what you're doing. If you just rely on Facebook, you're just doing the what Facebook wants. Over time, it's not really going to work that way, especially now. Like maybe five years ago, it was different, but now it's becoming harder and harder to just use the algorithm. You gotta, gotta find other ways. Like you know, viral content is one way to get people to see stuff. But even with viral content, if you have, if say you did ten videos uh, every day that became viral, that you know, uh, or at least a thousand people watched that video, right? So you get a thousand views each day so you have you know seven videos that are viral the thing with Facebook the problem with Facebook and probably other platforms too is that the thousand people that saw video number one are not the same most likely that saw video two again another thousand saw video three another thousand so these people they only all saw one video they're not they, they're not like oh I know who that is they have no clue. This is probably the first time they ever seen a video from you. So that's not going to build your, you know, your audience. It's not going to build your authority if only they see only one video. They got to see multiple things and that's when you take control <coughs> when you choose who you're visiting and you make it methodical and you make it a process, a formula. You will get people to start to notice you. They're going to start to go to your profile and start to wonder what you're about. And eventually they'll reach out to you, right? But even if they don't reach out to you right away, in the beginning you're building your knowledge, you're building them knowledge of you, you're getting them to get to know you so that if you reach out to them, at least they're not going to ignore you, they're not going to be wondering who you are, they're, they're going to have a clue. That's the secret, right? You want people to know who you are when you try to talk to them. And that's the reverse process. The reverse of following whatever Facebook tells you to do you take control and you do it your way you do it with control you do it with your own you know uh, strategies all right hopefully you enjoyed and if you want a copy of this active group users you can actually go to active group users slash trial and you can actually go to activegroupusers.com like let's actually open that up in the new in the community and see what that looks like you go to that page It'll show you this. There's a click here for your free trial now. You can actually use this software, try it out for free. And if you like it, then you, you pay for it. Otherwise, you don't, right? And you can try it out. And uh, that's basically it. Hopefully, you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next episode. This has been Course Income Secrets. The entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.